So today we're going to be working on o matoi and ko matoi. So o matoi means basically it's the big flag and ko matoi is the small flag. Now there are thousands of flags. So what makes the o matoi different? Now this is problematic because we are specifically talking about Natoru here. It doesn't mean that this is only in this school, but what it means is that there's lots of different schools do different things, but the principle is the same. The names might be different, but the principle is the same. At the, at the command point of the army is a massive flag, the Omatoi, and here. And if the army gets separated, there's a problem. You put it up, you know, it just goes to a high point. Everybody goes back to it. That's your rally point. Uh, when the army's in formation, it will march with the army and move to the side or move back or go to the front. And all that will have different meanings within your army book. That is for another lesson. We'll go deeper into that. But basically, what you have to realise is that in samurai armies, they do have a central main standard. And this is what everybody rallies on. Sometimes they don't put it with the commander so it doesn't get all the fire. They put it off centre so that whoever's getting it is just lower class people holding it. And the actual command centre is not getting peppered with arrows and shot. So uh, there's that to go. But we are here talking about the Omatoi. In Kusunoku Ryu, this is also called the uh, the great dragon banner and in different schools it has different names but on the whole it means there is a banner in the middle and um it, you've got to rally to it or know where it is or know what it means when it moves